Hello, thank you here. Um, we have the, the new sort of the new heroes reveal for Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, oh my! I've already seen this, by the way. I was although it's really tired, so I just couldn't do the reaction. So we'll do. So I'm more awake now. So we're gonna get back into the banner, and we're gonna ah, not banner. We're gonna get into the trailer. I'm gonna talk about the units, and I'll talk about which units I want, which units I not, in sort of the order. Uh, in addition to that, kind of talk about a few things as well because within this matter, because it's very interesting as a concept, what it is. So let's go. And he is called Dr. Spenny. All right. So yeah, you can kind of see it there. There is a Burkut, there is a Corrin, and a Tiki, and you. All right. We'll play it's called. All right. Do you have a death wish? All right, so let's go for a heroine. So Shadow Sword, a sales, special cooldown trigger, special cooldown. Minus one if unit is 50, above 50% or fifty percent or above, and unit initiates combat, unit can make a follow-up attack before unit full can counter attack. This is not just, that's kind of just a brief. And then we have Luna. No, okay. And we have a new power thing, which is Flashing Blade 4. Which is, if you know speed, it's above full speed, grand special then plus one, and deals plus five damage to unit attack. Only the highest value will, will apply, does not stack. That is an insanely good skill for, for, for flashing bit users. Um, we have no follow up, no, which is, just the, the, which is disable foes skills that guarantees fo foes follow up attack and foe con. Yeah, so, you know, that's a really good skill setup for a sword unit, and it's insane, and I feel that's just a power group. That's just power creep Mia. Like, just straight up power creep her. Hey, at least that. At least how you're. Let go. Alright. We have a crutch. If you wish to be burned by Duma's flame, then by all means, touch me once more. So we have Kremhild. If a bow, dagger, magic, or staff, so because he had a range unit at this point, initiates combat and you know, in two spaces of ally. Oh, okay, that's the restriction. Two is in two spaces of ally. Unit, unit can't counter attack regardless of range, and foe cannot make follow up attack. But after combat, if unit attacked, deals 20 times to the nearest ally. Ouch. That's a double edged sword, and that's that's back. So for Prezel, that's fine. Warning sense four. If full initiative combat plus it rares during combat and fix special cooldown minus one on full per attack. This bitch just guard. That's just basically a more powerful steady stat. Steady breath. No steady sound. Yeah, steady sounds. And art breath wave. That's not a bad setup. More resistance focused. By Duma's power! That was a good kind of Then we have Corin, the wheeling soul. That blood coursing through my veins, it grows restless. Alright, so I also didn't notice that there's uh, the tails there for Corin. Anyway. So we have Savage Threat. We have Grant's attack plus three, and then Grant's speed. Attack, speed, defense, res, calculate, acts based on number of allies in two spaces. If zero allies, grants plus six, one ally grants four, two allies plus two, three minus is zero. Ha! Huh, that's a very interesting. Yeah, that's a more powerful version of all the solo skills. Huh. Okay, and if foes range is two, that, that's the shine stone, so that's fine enough. So, then we have Dragon's Fang, increases boost damage by 50% of the unit's attack. Attacks. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to run the calculation here because she could be on her own, so all the stats are like secured up, so it's kind of hard to do. That's fine. And then Sudden Panic, which is insane one. So, at the start of the turn, if any foe's health is less than unit HP, and that foe is adjacent to another foe, inflicts panic on that foe. Foe, foe, panic, and it just blends panic's thing. So, oh, that's quite a strong one. And she's also colorless, by the way. I forgot to, I forgot to mention that part. But yeah, that's insane. Oh, 
Ah, oh, I forgot this. I'll hurt you. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Uh, uh, tiki or tiki is... I will burn everything with all my strength. So first off, that's another armor. That's another armor dragon. This is a this is a nice. This is almost an omen to. Almost, I think Tiki just wanted to prove. Uh, forget the guy's name. Armor beast daddy. The what you can do. All right, but hey, let's go. So wrestling breath effect against dragon units effect. Well, you know, unit can turn attack regardless of dragons and has the dragon. So I think that's fine. Then we have ignis boost unit by eighty. Boost unit. That's the fan. Unit boost damage by eighty percent of the units defense. Sparks and attack speed. That's fine. Special fire. We're seeing that quite a lot now, so that's a nice little skill tack in there. A uh, new skill, solitary dream, which I believe will be exclusive to her. Because I think, yeah, that's why for her, so yeah. So at the start of turn, if unit is adjacent to only dragon allies or is not adjacent to only allies, grants attack, speed, defense, defense plus four, and two, one, ally, two unit, and unit can move one additional space. So that's a built-in armor march with a buff to go with it. And the fact she can just dismantle dragons and she is this encounter everything, that is a very scary unit. Like, I'm not even gonna complain, that's a very scary unit. Huh. Punish them. I mean, that was a bit of like 30, but the damage is like weird. So, yeah. Now, we do have a run through the battle. Uh, it's not Dar, which is unfortunately, and I can't remember the hero's name, so user, I'll put it in the description soon because I, I just can't for life me remember. But yeah, that is our banner. So, straight up, as we can kind of see, that green units are not going to be needed, so if you see any green units, if you're just trying to get the focus ones, you can go ahead and skip them. But let's talk about, so yeah, so... I think one of the things I want to point out is if we want to count both corns as so both male and female as one version, I think they top things off having the most alts, if I'm right. Because you no, know, we have the spring, we have New Year's. Not spring New Year's. We had the summer New Year's. Then we had a drift. That was two. And then this one. Okay, no, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, it's still... <laughs> but regardless, you know, units I definitely want straight up. I want Tiki. That is a, that is a very fearsome set on unit that's probably going to be in the banner normally and as a armored colorless dragon of all things with the, this thing that they're built in. Yeah, she's a very scary dragon that I very much... What is her dragon since red? Huh, that's a nice little emphasize to it. But yeah, that's... That's very amazing. Second unit I would probably go, would like would be Brakut himself. No problems with that man. None. Although he's, again, falling to the scurry. Third is going to be Corin. It would actually be uh, Corin, of all things, because I think that skill set, that setup is going to be very good. Especially Solidary Panic. It could be a very interesting skill to, to, see, to use. And the fact she can upper power... Well, a potential or attack and speed could be a potential twelve. That's just the thing. That is an insane thing to do. Now that's not saying anything about Mariette. She's still a good unit, so these are still good units. So and this is just sort of a mixed bag. You can't pick and choose which one you want. So yeah. That's a, but that's just kind of general honor. I'm really arguing that tomorrow, if I'm right. The banner does drop to, on the 10th. Today is, oh, today is the, if, so we're actually getting it in two days. All right. So what do you guys think of the banner better than I? Let me know in the comments because I'm more curious. Uh, if you guys want to see the summons, I suppose in the comments, you can subscribe and whatnot. Churchill. So, but yeah.
I'm just gonna strip say this now. I fear Tiki. I think we should fear Tiki. Like fear this dragon. Just fear her. Because that is a very dangerous setup on that cheeky. Alright, I'll see you guys later. I think so this I think the way things are going, we're just gonna have some weird setup of videos. But I'll see you all later. Bye.